Cassius, thank you so much for joining us. Uh, obviously talking a little bit about the 2020 NBA draft, things a little different this time around with no workouts, no face-to-face -face stuff. How are you preparing for the draft, for the NBA, without having the ability to directly interact with teams um, at the moment? Um, you know, I've just been, obviously with the Zoom things, we've been doing Zoom for being able to interact. So, I mean, it's not completely no interaction, but uh, basketball-wise, you know, I've just been consistently in the gym two times a day, um, just working on consistency in my shot, um, working on uh, just, you know, watching, watching, watching the game, watching the bubble, watching pre-bubble and just um, also looking at things that I did at Duke that I can improve on and knowing that, you know, there are going to be so many more things that um, you can be able to do in the NBA game that you can't do in college. So I've just been working on that. And, um, you know, I've just, I've just been, the biggest thing for me is, you know, I've been staying ready so I don't have to get ready. It's a little bit of everything. You're six six guard at Duke, averaged 12 points, five rebounds, 36% from three. ACC all freshman. Obviously, a short year at Duke. You know, all things considered, I know you guys need to finish the season, but how would you assess your year with the uh, the Blue Devils? Uh, you know, I think it was a great year. I think that um, personally for me, I, I grew as a player and a, as a person. Um, I think talk, having being able to have the resource of Coach K and you know, such a great basketball mind. Um, was huge for me this year. And, um, you know, I think there, there were so many things that, you know, I could have done better, that I was going to do better in the ACC and the, you know, NAF, the NCAA tournament, but we got cut short. And, um, you know, I think we were, as a team, were going to, you know, really, you know, hit our stride during that time. So obviously that sucked that sucks that it ended, but, you know, what's going on right now is, you know, unprecedented so you know everyone's just trying to stay safe I'm playing in a program like Duke you guys obviously have a lot of talent coming in every year you know five-star guys and you know sometimes you're forced into a role that you're not necessarily used to with the things that you weren't able to do this year that you're excited to kind of display to NBA teams like hey I did one thing at Duke but I can also do x y and z as well uh yeah I think it would just be you know being able to show my playmaking abilities um this past year you know I think coach um really stressed upon for me and for the, the greater good of the team for me to be a more just a, you know an aggressive scorer and uh, really just focus on you know playing great defense and then you know being able to produce offense um, you know not really worried about you know creating for others since we had you know Trey Jones at point guard and we had you know a lot of other guys who could create uh, it was just more for for me to be you know a consistent shooter a knockdown shooter um, an aggressive driver and just being able to just be in a really aggressive score. I'm playing in a program like Duke. And you also came from a big time high school program at CR Cannon, where I'm sure the spotlight, you're getting everyone's best shot every single night. How do you think that prepares you in terms of getting to the next level at the NBA? Oh yeah, that definitely prepared me. Um, knowing that, you know, even in, even at Sierra Canyon, there were, there was so much hate in the city, the state nationally. So, you know, everybody wanted to get the, wanted to, you know, knock us off. And so, uh, going into Duke, that was just, you know, a seamless transition of, you know, always being being ready to, you know, be able to go out and, you know, be the, the attacker, be able to go out first and, you know, make sure that, you know, the other team doesn't beat us and be able to always be on your best, always on your P's and Q's and knowing that at any moment you slip up, everybody wants to come and beat you. You talked about some of the guys you worked with at Duke, Trey Jones, Vernon Carey, who also in the draft this year. And then you've had, obviously, Coach K, who's had a number of Duke players go to the NBA. How have they helped you navigate this process in terms of your teammates? You guys are going through this together. And Coach K, who has clearly done this a number of times before with guys in the past. Um, you know, with the teammates being able to – all of us being in the same boat is, uh, you know, really great. Um, you know, I think – and in high school, it was weird because in high school you're with – your teammates or people, you know, around the team for eight, nine hours of the day. Um, so you would assume that's a lot of time. And honestly, in college, I think, you know, I was, this is the time I've ever been closest. This is the most closest I've ever been with, you know, teammates because, you know, we're here practice together. We're in study all together. We're in battles together. Then we're living together. Uh, so this is, it was just been a great year for me to, you know, be with a, a great group of guys. Then having trained Brennan, who I was actually close with in the year, you know, me and Brennan had a really good relationship during the year. And so all of us being in this, this boat right now, 
it's been interesting. And I think it, it helps all of us because we're all really close and we all talk and just, you know, express how we're feeling, which is, you know, no one really knows anything right, right now what's going on. And then having Coach K, um, you know, he's done this so many years, but like I just said, you know, this is unprecedented. This is like, no one's ever done this before. So even Coach K is like, this is the first time he's probably had to say like, look, I don't have the answers. Like, I don't know. So um, this is a really interesting time, but, you know, I think we're all trying to, you know, see what happens, wait it out um, while we're enjoying, you know, the bubble. And lastly, obviously looking at the Charlotte Hornets team, your hometown team in sense of college. I know you're from California, but took a little bit of a step back this year, playing a lot of younger guys, rookies, sophomores, taking a developmental route. What do you know about this franchise? How do you see yourself potentially fitting in with them? Um, yeah, uh, like you said, the hometown team in a sense. Um, uh, yeah, definitely. Um, you know, I, I've been to Charlotte a couple of times while I was in Durham and, you know, it seems like a really cool city and, um, you know, I didn't get to watch that much of the Hornets game just because you know, this was like the first year I didn't have NBA league pass. So like that was the weirdest thing ever. So I only got to watch like national team, national games. And, um, but I did get to see some Hornets games and, you know, I, I do, I, you know, I, I played against PJ Washington for multiple years, for so many years. And so, you know, I have a little relationship with him um, and I have a little relationship with Miles Bridges. And so, um, you know, seeing those guys and seeing that team is interesting and knowing, you know, it, it seems like the Hornets are kind of big on, you know, being able to have guys play in multiple positions and versatility, you know. Um, and it seems for me, I would feel it, I'd fit in well because, you know, I think I have guard skills and so I could play guard. And then I can also swing to like a three and, you know, even guard, you know, multiple positions if, you know, while having, you know, those two guards of Frank and, I mean, uh, Devontae and um, Devontae and Terry. So, um, you know, they can interchange and I feel like I can come in and swap into, you know, playing a two or a three or even a one at some point. Um, so, and like you said, you know, they were playing younger guys and working on development. So, you know, I think I, I definitely would fit in.